How's it going guys? Welcome back to Johnny64, and it's been a while since I've given you guys a video. I have been on vacation, and I have been preoccupied with different things going on in life. I really just like to pick up things with the amount of content that I'm putting out on this channel. To be honest, it's kind of been a slow news regarding Nintendo content, uh, regarding Metroid, regarding Zelda, a lot of my favorite things to cover on this channel. But there has been some things that have happened within the last month, so this will just be a big catch-up video. So first off, let's start off with Metroid. According to Jeff Grubb, who is a journalist and a Nintendo insider, who's really seemed to have his finger on the pulse of all things Nintendo, he did say that we should be getting Metroid Prime 1, a remaster of the first Metroid Prime game during the holiday season. And so there hasn't been any official announcements from Nintendo, but if Jeff is correct here, then we should be getting a remastered Metroid Prime in this holiday season, this upcoming holiday season. Now, what he also said is, although it will be a brand new remaster, we're not getting Prime 2 and Prime 3. Those games are being released separately, so it really isn't a surprise that Nintendo would be trying to milk every dollar out of this franchise like they always do. They love to make easy dollars off of their classic games, Prime 2 and Prime 3 are basically done according to Jeff Grubb and they're just sitting on those. So what this tells me is that Prime 4 is still a ways away. I know a couple months ago I made a video where I was talking about how retro studios who are developing Metroid Prime 4 were hiring graphics designers who were basically supposed to be working on the aesthetics of specifically Metroid Prime 4. So if they're still basically hiring people to be working in the graphics department, they're still a long ways away from finishing Metroid Prime 4. I imagine they'll be slowly releasing Metroid Prime 1, Metroid Prime 2, and Metroid Prime 3 to get the community interested, to get people excited, um, and basically just to develop more patience leading up to Metroid Prime 4. It doesn't surprise me that once again they're trying to squeeze every dollar they can out of the Metroid fan base and out of the growing Nintendo fan base for the Metroid games. Next up, F-Zero. So recently, something kind of interesting happened. A shareholder, basically a new Nintendo shareholder, bought $40,000 worth of stock just to get Nintendo's attention and to have a word with them and to let them know that they need to resurrect some dead franchises. One of the franchises that he mentioned was F-Zero. And this guy is basically a hero for doing that. Now, Nintendo... Um, basically gave a response later on, said that they're not obligated to bring back franchises that are not doing well. They're looking at their sales. So unfortunately, this wasn't received incredibly well, but it got their attention and it shows that at least some people are interested in getting more F-Zero. Now, former president of Nintendo, Reggie fils said he wouldn't be surprised to see another F-Zero title in the near future, although he doesn't know anything for sure. Now, Reggie has been out of the Nintendo circle and has been retired for a couple years now, so he might just be speaking from pure speculation, or he might know a little bit of something, even though he indicates he doesn't really. That would be really interesting if there was a new F-Zero title, but although I think F-Zero GX on the GameCube, which released in 2003, was the best F-Zero game, leading up to that point, the sales of F-Zero have been going down and down ever since they first released F-Zero on the Super Nintendo. It just doesn't sell many copies. Now, there is a rumor that a new F-Zero game is currently in the works. This came out within the last week, but honestly, it seems to have very little credibility to it. I wouldn't put much stock in this. Within the rumor itself, it even mentioned that you shouldn't put too much stock in it. And so I really don't see this as a credible leak. A lot of the times I do talk about leaks that I do think have some formidability to it, that have some strength to it. This one does not. If I had to guess right now, I don't think Nintendo is working on anything F-Zero related at the moment, especially after they gave that response to the shareholder, basically saying that they're not obligated to work on anything at the moment uh, that isn't selling very well. But based on some of the answers they're giving, based on how much it's coming up, I think we're at least getting their attention. Because the F-Zero fan base, like I said, it doesn't sell many copies, but those who are fans of F-Zero are extremely passionate fans. They're a vocal fan base. And I think it seems that at the very least, we're starting to get under Nintendo's skin a little bit because they're starting to get a little bit defensive about why they're not bringing out new F-Zero games because they're being asked about it all the time. 
if we are getting under their skin just a bit, maybe that'll be what's needed for them to give the F-Zero franchise to a third-party developer where they can basically develop a game at a much more affordable cost, maybe just to appease the fans and say, okay, we'll give it one last shot. If it does well, we'll continue the franchise. If it, if it doesn't, we'll put it away for good. Um, but I think the fact that we're getting to them a little bit, they seem to be a little bit, de bit defensive about it, shows that we're, they're hearing us. They're at least hearing us, and maybe they're just annoyed with us right now, but eventually that might turn into some sort of materialization. Lastly is Zelda, and if I'm going to be honest, there hasn't been much going on with Breath of the Wild 2. I was hoping that we were going to get a June or July Nintendo Direct. There didn't end up being a Direct. I think what basically happened with that was E3 was originally being planned to happen, and Nintendo probably had some stuff lined up for E3. When E3 didn't materialize and basically got canceled, the virtual version got canceled, Nintendo instead just started slowly leaking information on Twitter for basically the entire month of July. But again, we didn't get anything Breath of the Wild 2 related. We don't even know if Breath of the Wild 2 is the official title. Uh, Nintendo's indicated to us several times that that's not going to be the title. So we'll see what it ends up being instead. But at this point, we know the game's been delayed until spring or at least early 2023. Hopefully it doesn't get delayed again. But we need some information on it soon and we haven't really got much of anything. So in the next Nintendo Direct, hopefully, hopefully we'll at least get the title of Breath of the Wild 2. Now, something that's interesting and does make our imagination go wild is Zelda just got a mod that now has multiplayer and a co-op mode, a cooperative multiplayer style. This was made by a modder named Kirby Mimi and it looks incredible. I've got video playing for you so that you can check out some of the multiplayer aspects to it. Uh, you can go ahead and damage one another. You can work together progressively going through it. And this looks like so much fun. Like I have optimism about this and I also have concerns. My optimism is obviously it would be so much fun to play a Zelda game with a friend right beside me. Uh, with a loved one right beside me and maybe play as Link and Zelda. That would be incredible. My only concern is Breath of the Wild was kind of a step away from traditional Zelda games as far as the fact that there was a lack of dungeons, as far as the fact that there was breakable weapons, breakable items. It was definitely a sharp turn in another direction for the Zelda franchise and I would like to see it get more to that traditional format. If you start incorporating multiplayer and cooperative gameplay, again, it does concern me that we might get a little too far away from what has made Zelda games so special all this time, but I don't know if that concern is enough to keep us from thinking innov innovatively and moving forward because the potential of this is so incredible. Again, this is just a mod made by Kirby Mimi, so shout out to them. The mod is actually going to drop. It's going to become available on Friday, July 29th. Now, let's be clear. This mod cannot be played on Nintendo Switch hardware, so you're going to have to get creative if you're interested in it. PC stuff, you know, Steam Deck type stuff, but it's not going to be able to be played on Nintendo hardware. And honestly, I'm kind of expecting a Nintendo uh, to cease and desist to be given to these guys pretty soon. It's kind of surprising that this is gaining so much steam and they haven't got one from Nintendo just yet. But I am fully expecting a cease and desist from Nintendo concerning this pretty soon. I will say it's incredible and to see the way that we're still giving the first Breath of the Wild game so much love and attention and I know Nintendo is going to improve upon the second one. It's very exciting times to be a Zelda fan and uh, we'll see where things go in the sequel. So that's just an update on some of my favorite franchises, which are F-Zero, Zelda, and Metroid. So those are three of my favorites, but there are other stuff in the news regarding Bayonetta, regarding Splatoon 3, and I plan on talking about those as well. So stay tuned to Johnny64 as I'll be giving you more news, more Nintendo news on not just my favorite franchise, but Nintendo as a whole. Also, I'll be posting some funny, some entertaining clips from my Twitch channel here as well. That is Johnny64 on Twitch with three ends. You can give me a follow over there. I am try to stream every day. At the very least, I stream every other day and I play lots of Nintendo games over there as well. So thanks for watching as always. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Nintendo content and I will see you guys in the next video.